Hello, in this video we're going to show you how to debug a Ionic application for iOS. The problem is Ionic uses web technology, this is a hybrid application. When you do something like a console.log, which is what I've got right here at the start of one of my controllers, it's in JavaScript and that doesn't appear in this console output right here, which is a problem for debugging. So how to get around that? The simple solution is to use the web inspector in Safari because you can actually debug devices and simulators. That's correct, you can debug the simulator as well. That's what we will be debugging, but you, the process is exactly the same for devices. So there's two things you need to make sure you've done before you can actually start debugging logs. First of all, on your simulator or on your iOS device, go to settings go to Safari, scroll all the way down, go to Advanced, and make sure Web Inspector is enabled. On Simulator, it should be enabled by default. On Device, it probably won't be, but just make sure that's enabled. Once well, that is enabled, what you need to do is go to Safari, go to Preferences, go to the Advanced tab, make sure Show Development Menu is in Menu Bar, so this will appear right here. And once you've done that, you're ready to start debugging. So I've got this log hello right here. So what I'm going to do is just run it in my simulator. So I'll just let the simulator load my application up. So as you can see, it's loaded. So when I click this little chat button, the this little dot controller function will be triggered. Hence, this log will also be triggered so if I go to Safari you go to develop you select your device or your simulator that you want to debug the this iMac is this device itself the one I'm actually coding on and creating this video tutorial on for Han's iPhone is a iPhone that I've got connected and simulator is what we've got so if you just go into here index.html for whatever application you're trying to debug and now you've essentially got the web inspector for your application so you can mess around with the HTML as you would with any other website. So if we go to console, click chats, as you can see it's consoled out hello. One thing to note is you need to make sure you have this web inspector open before the log is triggered. What I mean by that is this, if I run this, here's another thing to note. If you rerun your application, the actual web inspector will close, so you'll need to reopen it every single time. But if I click on chats, the log has been triggered. It's actually printing it out in this console, which it really usually doesn't. I'm just gonna ignore it because, like I said, it usually doesn't print it out in here. It should only print it out within here. So if for whatever reason it isn't working for you in here because normally it doesn't for me this is the method to use that is ridiculously weird you just go to develop simulator index.html as you can see it hasn't appeared here so like I was saying make sure your web inspector is open before you the log is going to trigger so realistically you want to open up the web inspector every time you launch your application so you can just debug it this is really weird why it actually appeared here usually logs don't appear in the console for Xcode well they never have for me which again is just ridiculously weird unless no it that's definitely the right log I, I doubt I would have hello for whatever the reason if you know why that has appeared there because like I said usually for me it doesn't appear but this is just, this has just become a crazy tutorial now simply because I was trying I was showing you how to get around the problem which seemed to have fixed itself on my computer. Either way, you now have a solution of how to debug an Ionic application for iOS. If you have any questions, feel free to post them on our education platform, sonarlearning.co.uk. There'll be a link in the description to that. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment and hit that subscribe button. And as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. This is really weird.